the Grassroots Weekend Preview. I'm your host, Beth. There was plenty of action over the weekend, so let's jump into the AIHL recap. The Melbourne Ice started their weekend at Macquarie Ice Rink against the Sydney Bears on Saturday evening. The Ice opened the scoring less than three minutes into the game and ended the period with another goal to take a 2-0 lead into the first intermission. The Bears found their form early in the second period, however, scoring two goals in three minutes to tie the game. The scoreboard remained even for the remainder of the period, and the teams entered the second intermission tied up at two. The Bears tallied another goal early in the final frame to break the deadlock, but less than a minute later the ice levelled the scores once again. Both teams were vying hard for the win, each team coming close to 20 shots on goal in the last period alone. It was the Melbourne Ice that would find the net though, and took the 4-3 win in the dying minutes of the game. Down south, Pride was on display at the OBG Arena. The Melbourne Mustangs hosted their inaugural Pride game against the Newcastle North Stars on Saturday night. Players from both teams showed their support for the event, with players wrapping their sticks in Pride tape and the Mustangs sporting custom rainbow jerseys. Newcastle rookie Liam Manwaring opened the scoring for the night, netting his first AIHL goal. The Mustangs leading scorer Jamie Burke soon replied and the score was tied up at one all heading into the first break. The second period was all Mustangs, with three unanswered goals pushing the Mustangs to a 4-1 lead at the end of two periods. The Mustangs pushed the scoring out further earlier in the third period, but the visitors regained some signs of life and answered back with two goals. The home side had the final say in the night though and scored their sixth goal of the night in the final minutes and took the 6-3 win. If you thought that nine goals in a game was a lot, you might want to brace yourself for results from Adelaide. The Adrenaline hosted CBR Brave for a double header on the weekend, and Saturday got off to a rocky start. The game was delayed by an hour as only some of the equipment bags made it from Canberra to Adelaide on the flight with the team. With the game on the verge of being cancelled, it was a relief for everyone when they showed up on the next flight, allowing both teams to hit the ice. The Brave got their game started early, putting up two quick goals in the first period, before the Adrenaline replied with less than a minute later with the goal of their own. CBR then tallied another two, heading into the first intermission with a 4-1 lead. Adelaide managed to stop the bleeding a little in the second period, opening with a goal of their own and limiting the Brave to adding only two of their own. The scoreline was not looking good for the home side, heading into the second break with a four-goal deficit, and it got worse. CBR scored scored a goal every two to three minutes in the first half of the period with a lopsided score of 10-2. Adelaide managed to restore some pride and added another three goals of their own in the latter minutes of the game, but still fell short with the Brave taking the 10-5 win. Sunday got off to a better start for Adelaide, keeping the Brave off the scoreboard for the first period before breaking the deadlock themselves early in the second period of the game. CBR responded minutes later, but both teams headed into the second intermission tied up at one. The third period favoured the visitors, however, as seconds later the puck was dropped. The Brave found the net and took a 2-1 lead. Before the end of the period, CBR would find the net two more times, sweeping the weekend series with a 4-1 win. In their second game at Macquarie of the weekend, the Melbourne Ice faced off against the Ice Dogs on Sunday. The Dogs opened the scoring in the first for a one-goal lead into the second period, and Melbourne levelled up the score just before the second intermission. The final period, however, is where the goals poured in. The Ice took a 2-1 lead, but Sydney replied with three goals, giving them a 4-2 advantage. Melbourne rallied to get one more on the board with 10 seconds left in the game, but the home side would take the 4-3 victory. Sunday saw the Mustangs return to their normal colours when they took on the North Stars in their second game of the weekend. The Mustangs opened their bank with a late goal in the first period, taking a 1-0 lead into the first intermission. The second period remained quiet until Joe Hacharik put Newcastle on the board to tie the game just before the second break. Hacharik wasn't content to just score one goal, or two, or three. Joe carried his team to a 4-1 victory, putting all four pucks in the net for his side. This was a bittersweet victory for the North Stars, however. After the game, it was announced that this would be the last AIHL game of the season for the league-leading scorer, Felix Pullin, as he was required to join his team in Europe for training camp. He leaves with a tally of 16 goals and 24 assists for a total of 40 points in the season. At the halfway point of the season, Melbourne Ice remain in first place with 44 points. Perth Thunder are in second with 40 points. CBR Braves sit in third with 34 points. And the Mustangs hold on to fourth place with 30 points. This weekend we'll see the Mustangs spend the weekend in Perth for a doubleheader against the Thunder.
The Ice Dogs travel to Melbourne for two games against the Ice. CBR Brave will visit Macquarie on Saturday to play the Bears before the Bears head to Newcastle on Sunday to play the North Stars in a must-win game for both sides. Round 5 of the 5x5 Roller Derby Championship hits Katoomba Aquatic Centre on Sunday, with the first bout starting at midday. This will be the last round before the grand final in August. Tickets are $15 at the door, with kids under 12 getting in free. For more information, head to the 5x5 Roller Derby page on Facebook. That's it for this week's weekend preview. Don't forget to connect with us on social media. At grassroots underscore AU on Twitter, grassroots underscore sports on Instagram, and grassroots sports on Facebook. Keep up to date to what's happening in emerging sport via our website, grassroots-sports.com.au. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next Friday for another Grassroots Weekend Preview.